Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I am Councilmember Mark Traeger, uh, and I'm uh, proud to serve as chair of the Education Committee. Thank you for joining us today as we vote on proposed introduction numbers. Uh, it's okay. Four four nine A and four six one A, both sponsored by uh, Councilmember Daniel Drum. Proposed introduction number seven twenty nine A, sponsored by Councilmember. Ben Kalos, a proposed introduction number 757A, uh, sponsored by Council Member Vanessa Gibson, and resolution number 289, sponsored by Council Member uh, Paul Vallone. I'd, I'd like to thank uh, the members of the Education Committee who are here uh, Council Member Ambry Samuel, Council Member Carnegie, Council Member Lander, Council Member Barron, Council Member Drum, Council Member Ulrich, Council Member Cohen, Council Member. Credentia, Council Member Kalos. If I'm missing anyone, please let me know. Uh, council Member Deutsch was here as well. I'm here. Yes, he's here. Uh, the Council's Working Group on School Planning and Siting, which was established under former Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito, brought staff from the Council's Legislative, Finance, and Land Use Divisions together with stakeholders, planning experts, and members of the public. Over the course of a year, the group worked to identify and better understand the issues that are resulting in overcrowding in our city schools. Overcrowded classrooms subject our students to substandard learning conditions, and we must improve the school siting and planning process to not only reverse, but avoid worsening this already significant problem. The group also engaged with the administration, including both the School Construction Authority and the Department of Education, to gain a clearer picture of the current process. And I'd like to thank both the SEA and DOE for their input in that process. The Council looks forward to continuing to work with, uh, with you uh, on this important issue. The report released by the Working Group in March of this year provides a detailed analysis and meaningful set of recommendations to address the challenges facing schools, uh, school space needs, including the, the which state of proposals we are voting on today. These bills will work to create more transparency in the school planning and siting process and give the public and policymakers the information they need to make it easier to build schools. I'd like to thank uh, the members of the working group for their efforts, as well as our committee counsel, Beth Gobe, uh, policy analyst Jan Atwell, Kalima Johnson, uh, finance analyst Caitlin O'Hagan, Elizabeth Hoffman. Uh, I'd like to also thank uh, my staff, Anna Scaife, Vanessa Ogle, and Eric Feinberg. And I will now turn it over to Councilmember Daniel Drum, who will speak about introductions 449 and 461. Thank you very much, Chair. And I'm very happy that this committee is continuing to address the problem of school overcrowding and the need to increase the number of seats in districts throughout the city. As the former chair of the Education Committee and now chair of the Finance Committee, I've been working to improve how the city identifies and develops space for new schools. Data tracking and sharing are critical to this process, and that is precisely what the bills I introduced and we are voting on today aim to do. Intro 449A would require the DOE to post online maps showing the, ge the geographic boundaries or sub-districts used by the DOE and the SCA to identify where new capital funding will be targeted for building new schools. Intro 461A would require the Department for Citywide Administrative Services to provide written notice to the New York City Department of Education and the School Construction Authority within 30 days after city owned or leased property of at least 20,000 square feet is determined to have no <coughs> current use. I want to thank you, Chair Traeger, for your leadership and especially for guiding this legislation through your committee. I also want to acknowledge Smita Deshmukh for her initial work on these bills and current committee counsel Beth Gala for taking them through to the finish line. And let me thank also Jan Atwell, Kalima Johnson, Elizabeth Hoffman, and Caitlin O'Hagan for the work that they did on it while I was chair of the Education Committee. And finally, to thank Councilmember Jalissa Ferreras and Melissa Mark Viverito, our former speaker, for uh, initially pulling together the working group on school planning and siting. It's been a pleasure to bring this to fruition. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman Drum, for your leadership. And uh, yes, a big shout out as well to Smita as well. Thank you. We miss you, Smita, here mm -hmm. at the Education Committee. Um, and uh, thank you again, Councilmember Drum, for your comments. We'll now hear from Councilmember Kalos, sponsor of Introduction 729. And thank also, you. we've been joined by Councilmember Levine. Uh, 
thank you to uh, our education chair and former teacher, Mark Traeger, as well as uh, our finance chair, former education chair, and also former teacher, Danny Drum, and uh, Speaker Corey Johnson himself for all of your leadership on these bills and this package, in particular my legislation. Every year I hear from parents in my districts whose kids cannot attend their local school because there's just not enough seats. These parents tell me that their child is commuting to another neighborhood or more dispiriting that they're going to a private school or even leaving the city for a school district with more capacity. Meanwhile, construction continues. Thousands of new apartments are being built in the neighborhood with cranes everywhere and no end in sight. Yet every year since 2014, when I would ask the Department of Education and School Construction Authority about the need in our overcrowded schools, the answer was the same. There is no new need for additional seats in your school district. Uh, our goal with Introduction 729 is to provide to New Yorkers information on how our city determines the need for school seats in districts throughout the five boroughs, and especially to make transparent the process of anticipating future needs so that we are preventing the overcrowding of tomorrow, today, rather than just addressing last year's numbers and always be, be being behind the eight ball. With elementary schools at 106 capacity, that's over capacity citywide, we need this information in order to address this challenge holistically and knowledgeably. The school seat shortage received increased attention earlier this year when the council issued a report that dug into the SCA's methodologies, highlighting the need for increased transparency so that the public, the council, and the administration can agree on facts and work from there to provide local seat in a quality public school for all New Yorkers. In my district, we're already making progress with universal pre-K, specifically in 2014, the Upper East Side and Roosevelt Island had 154 full day seats. Through advocacy and partnership, the School Construction Th Authority, we've been able to add 750 seats for a total of 900 in the area, but that makes the information this bill will make public so necessary is that in 2015, there will be 2,500 babies who are born on the Upper East Side from 2015. Uh, if we want to get those kids into the public school system, we need to start next year when they are four years old, eligible for universal pre-K, and we have nowhere near the 2,500 seats we need. I want to thank uh, the council staff to work on the council's report and this bill, including Laura Popa, Jeff Baker, Smitha Deshmukh, uh, Beth Galb, and I want to thank uh, Lainey Hampson and Class Size Matters who have been leading the fight for over a decade to eliminate school overcrowding in the New York City. I want to thank all the committee members for uh, being here, and uh, I ask you to vote in support. Thank you, Council Member. Um, and with that, uh, I will ask our committee clerk to call the roll and begin the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, community education. All items are coupled. Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Gordenchik. I and all, and I just want to wish all my colleagues who are celebrating a happy and healthy Shana Tova. Thank you. Barron. I vote aye on all. Cohen. Aye. Carnegie. Aye on all. Deutsch. Aye. Drum. Aye. Kalos. Aye. Lander. Aye on all. Levine. Aye on all. Salamanca. I and all. Ampri Samuel. I all. Ulrich. Pass. Ulrich. I and all. <laughs> I vote of 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. 